friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of June. <laughs> If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my unread physical TBR down from a really high number down to something manageable. At the beginning of June we started with 133 books and I read and hauled a lot this month. Much like last month, I'm going to go through these chronologically instead of hauled versus read versus unhauled because I like the chronological order. So we're going to do that again this month. As I said, we started with 133 so we'll get that on the board and... I'm not really sure exactly where we end at, but I have an idea. It'll be up there also. The first book is a haul, and that is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. This book follows two sisters. One lives in this futuristic world that's very high tech, and like there's no germs or danger, I believe. And the other sister wakes up on this deserted island, and the book is about the two of them finding one another. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but that's what I know so far. I then read Moxie by Jennifer Mathieu. If you want to know my full thoughts on any of the books that I read, I will link in the description box down below as well as in the cards in the wrap up for this month. We then have Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas, which I hauled and then also read this month. This book follows Wendy, who her and her two younger brothers disappeared and they were all gone for about six months and Wendy was able to return, but with no memory of what had happened and her brothers did not return. And she starts seeing someone that she believes to be Peter Pan and they're trying to figure out who this monster is that's stealing children from her world and goes from there. I then hauled The Ivies by Alexa Dunn who is a fellow author tuber and I will link her in the description box down below in the odd chance that you don't know who she is. I don't know a lot about this one. I do know that it is like a dark academia type story, more mystery thriller. I don't really know. Um, it follows some students in high school and the things that they will do in order to get into an Ivy League. We then have Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Slamberry which I hauled and read this month. I have a full reading vlog for this that I will link in the description box down below for you as well. Blood Like Magic follows Voya who is a witch that lives with her family and when they reach their puberty age they are given this task by their family, um, by their ancestors. Voya's task is to destroy her first love and for Voya there is consequences in both either choosing to take the challenge or failing the challenge. Um, so if she chooses not to take the challenge at all um, there's um, consequences of her and her family lose their magic and if she takes the challenge and fails it there's consequences of her and all future relatives losing their magic. I might have those two backwards right now because it's been a minute since I read it but um, again reading vlog. It's gorgeous. It's by Lizelle who's also a fellow author tuber who I will link down below. I then hauled Rebel Girls by Elizabeth Keenan. This does not count as it is a book that I read last year. The next couple are books that I've already read before so I will go ahead and uh, link my review on Goodreads for these if you want to know what they're about or how I felt about them. Also Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan. Again hauled this but have already read it. And The Ever After by Amanda Hawking. Again hauled this but already read it. The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This is the newest book in the the Truly Devious series. I know this follows the same characters but it's in a different place. That's about all I know and that's all I want to know because it's a mystery. I do believe this is the last in the series but we were also told that the last book was the last in the series so who knows. I then read book two in the Sarah Normal series Haunted Memories. Yep Haunted Memories that is it. And then hauled this gorgeous book Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. Uh, have not read this yet but do plan to get to it very soon. Witch Shadow is the fourth book in the Witchland series that follows Safi, Azult, Merrick, and Adwan. They are witches in this world that is a lot of political drama and a lot of battles and fighting and best friends and love and just all kinds of fun things in this series. Speaking of the Witchland series, I also reread Blood Witch by Susan Dennard because I was rereading in preparation for Witch Shadow. This was the third book, so the last book that I needed to read prior to getting into Witch Shadow. So this counts nowhere. <laughs> I then read two more of the Sarah Normal books, books three and four, uh, Mischief Night and Spirits of the Season. I read Horrid by Katrina Leno and then read Beyond the Ruby Veil by Mara Fitzgerald and then read 
Geraldine's Alley by Becca C. Smith who again is a fellow author tuber and I will link in the description box down below. And then I read The Stranger Game by Cillian Busby. A lot of those that I read were for the Summer Scare Readathon so I'll also link my vlog for that in the description box down below in case you want to watch my vlog for that. We also need to talk about books that I read that I don't own physical copies of. That would also be a good plan. Uh, I also read Ten Truths and a Dare by Ashley Elston, Spell on Wheels by Kate Leith, This Is How You Lose the Time War, All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson, Spells Trouble by the cast, Vampires Never Get Old which is an anthology, and Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. So I also read all of those. I DNF'd Sloppy First by Megan McCafferty and I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Goo. So I had some DNFs, I had some like digital reads, I had some arcs in there. Uh, I had a lot of things this month, clearly. So I don't know about you, but I feel like this is a pretty decent haul for one month, especially since I've already read most of these. Like either I read them before or I read them this month, so not doing too bad actually. I believe that puts me at six books hauled that counted, ten books read that counted, which leaves me at 129. But the number will tell us for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 129. Either way, I think we're doing pretty good. I started the year off at 163. And I want to be under 100 by the end of the year. We've read more than half and we're halfway through the year. So if we just keep up this pace, we'll be fine, right? Okay. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you like this chronological order, even though I forgot to put in the things that were digital because my brain didn't operate properly today for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's where we live. This is the world we live in now. Uh, but let me know. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!